How you doing? I'm great. How are you, Leroy? I see you're in your onesie in the bed. Yeah, uh, I don't want to be rude. I just joined. What is this, speed dating? I don't know what's going on here. Are you looking for the love of your life? Hey, I've been looking, but it ain't, ain't going too good, though. Yes, I am. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from New York. What part of New York? Oh, no. Can I? I don't got to be so specific. Oh, I'm in the five boroughs. Is that good? It's a city part. Five boroughs. Like Bronx. Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx. The Bronx. Okay. All righty. How old are you? No, I say, I say in the five boroughs. Why did you say the Wow. Uh, I'm just asking a question and you're no, about to take my head off. So I'm assuming the Bronx now because how you responded. I don't want people to know where I live specifically. That's why I don't mean to come off aggressive. How old are you? Hey, I'm 41. All right. Do you have any children? No kids. Look at that. What do you do? Let me sit up. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a city bus driver. Describe your dream woman. Don't describe her looks. Oh, no looks? Well, it got to be faithful, number one. Great sense of humor. Loving, compassionate. Oh, independent. And I need somebody that's a go-getter. And um, that's, you know, that's pretty much. Okay, what does she have to look like? What does she have to look like, you're saying? Yes. I mean, are you single? Like, looking like you. I mean, you're beautiful right yourself, you know? Not available, Leroy, but thank you. I oh, appreciate that. Thank you, Leroy. But there's 1,100, and I'm sure there's one woman on the live who's available. Oh, well, let me say it like this. Looks ain't everything, but, you know, a pretty face. Nice smile, mm -hmm. you know, dimples, dimples won't hurt, oh, you know? Oh, you want one dimple? Wow, you showing out tonight. Uh-huh. So, you know, somebody with a nice smile, a pretty face, uh -huh. hey, a Coke bottle body, body won't hurt either. Oh, okay. Are you, are you a fit man? Do you work out every day, Mr. Leroy? Hey, let me show y'all what I'm working with. Oh, look at this, ladies. Come on, ladies. Can y'all see? It's kind of dark in my room. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's kind of dark, but yeah, that's what I'm working with, ladies. Y'all see? We see. We maybe, see. Maybe I put it in the light. Can y'all see now, ladies? Yes. Is that Winnie the Pooh, the outfit? Which, is that an Avenger character? Oh. Well, this is supposed to be the Iron Man, but someone said I need to get my money back. They said it don't look like Iron Man. Oh, that's Iron Man. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. It's supposed to be Iron Man. Someone said I look like Reese's Pieces. Give me three deal breakers. Oh, deal breakers and a woman. Let's start with an unfaithful person, because I've been cheating on. I don't like that. Cheating. What's another one? Oh, someone don't got their priorities in order. You want me to give you an example or? Yeah, sure. You can go for uh, it. You know, I have dated a woman that um came to me and said, oh, my rent's through about three months. But I just saw her the other day buy herself a pocketbook and some shoes. So how are you shopping and your rent is not paid up to date? That tells me your priorities is all after. So why are you attracting women like that, Mr. Leroy? Hey, that's not all the girls I date. I'm just saying I have attracted uh, two or three that, you know, they 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 didn't get their problems to order. What's up with that? You said three deal breakers. That's two. And what's another one? Oh, oh, someone don't have a sense of humor, I guess. Now, if I can't, well, that's not a red flag. Wait, what's the question again? A red flag? What's the question? Deal breaker. I guess, oh, deal breaker. Oh, yeah, sense of humor. If I, if you can't, if you don't laugh, you can't laugh at stuff and have a good time. You're always, always serious. That's a deal breaker. Nah, I can't deal with you. Life is too short to be serious all the time. Oh, okay. And are you a 50-50 or fully providing man? I'm able to do... Well, the question... I, listen, <laughs> I don't think they're going to like this answer. <laughs> I... Could provide 100%. I have a good career.
But I prefer 50-50 because I said this before. If I get sick or, God forbid, I lose my job, I need a woman that's could hold it down until I get back on my feet. That's why I believe 50-50. If I do everything and I get it, God forbid, I get sick and have a stroke, the family is going to crumble now. So I don't believe I should be doing everything. Like I said, if something happens to me, the family crumbles. But if you holding it down and I'm holding down and one of us go down, the other person can hold it down until that person gets back on their feet. Okay. Hey. Can you give us one reason why you think you're single? For some strange reason, woman say I'm immature. Can you believe that? I don't see it. I, I don't see it. I don't know you to know. I wouldn't know. I don't know you. Well, they say I'm too old to be sleeping in superhero onesies, collecting action figures. What's wrong with that? Playing video, play PlayStation 5. They telling me I'm too old for that. And you said you're 41, right? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Yes. I would have, I think most people maybe would assume and correct me if I'm wrong, that you would have outgrown that phase of your life, you know, and maybe moved on to something more serious and mature. And I was told I could be selfish too. I was told that too at times, but I'm the only child, you know, I never had to share with no siblings as a kid. So. Okay. Alrighty. Are you willing to, I guess, bend if you meet the woman of your dreams, are you willing to give up the onesies and the video games and the Pokemon cards? Are you willing to give it up? The onesies, I, I, they're very comfortable. I could, I could, I could give up the onesies, the superhero ones, because they have grown men, adult onesies. But I can't give get rid of this. Let me show you. You telling me to get rid of this too? My action figures? Are you kidding me? Are you gonna tell me to get rid of all these action figures I've spent all my hard money on? Are you kidding me right now? Wow. Okay. I mean, you know, I mean, I think that's nice. To each his own. To show you my collection. Mm -hmm. Why I got to get rid of that? I don't think I had a girl said if we moved in together, she's going to put all that in storage. I don't think that's nice. I, don't, I guess, you know, if you like her enough and maybe if that's the person in your dreams, maybe, you know, she figured you would be willing to compromise. I guess we see what areas you need to work on. Where can this woman find you on social media? Guys, I'm here on TikTok. PB right here. They can find me right here. You know, hit my DMs. Oh, I've never been on your show. You're live. So this is not like speed day. No one's going to come up. They just um hit my DMs or something. That's how it works. Well, we have a lot more people. Let's ask the chat. Ladies, does anyone want to come up tonight and connect with Mr. Leroy? Ask to join the live. If you are interested, I'm sure they'll reach out to you. Maybe they're a little shy or timid. You okay. do have a big personality. It's robust. So maybe they just want to, you know, hit you up privately. All right, so it's fair to say you have no one to request right now when you look, right? Check real check real quick. You don't see no one, right? Oh, oh, no, not a soul. Damn. Maybe I need to look in the mirror. Maybe it's me, right? Your personality is huge. If I, you know, outside looking in, maybe you being a collector, that can be a bit, you know, like, wow, intimidating. You can't go up against that. You know, they can't compete with your collection. They can't. Well, before I go, I know you said you unavailable. Yes. But can I ask you this? Would you date me? Would you give me a chance now that you got to know me a little? Would you give me your phone number? Leave if you were single. If you were single, I'm saying. Can we ask the chat? Is that fair to ask? There's fourteen hundred people. Chat ladies, um, Leroy is asking, would you take his number? Let's see. Let's just do, you know, I guess a little poll here. Would you be willing to take his number, Mr. Lee? I see no's. I see a lot of no. That's why I wanted to ask your opinion. Listen, I got I got tough skin. You could tell me straight up. You would never give I'm me. I'm just the name. host of the show here. Okay. I'm here, you know, just to ask questions, Mr. Leroy. I'm unavailable, even in the sense of answering a question. You know, I'm mm. sure there'll be someone in your DM. Okay, they're just probably a little shy. Again, you have well, a lot of personality. 
Well, listen, okay, I'm going to check my DMs, but I wish someone would come up and explain why they wouldn't give me their phone number. But all right. So thank you for your time, okay? Absolutely. Have a great night. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I have been subscribed, well, following you for the past three months. And I noticed that your live is about speed dating, correct? So describe your dream person. Who's your dream person? If you could describe them, what would they look like? Who would they be? All right. Good night, everyone. My name is Nathan. I'm Jamaican. All right. So the ideal person that I'm looking for is to have a bona fide relationship with a young lady, someone that's kind hearted because I am also a kind hearted person, someone that's genuine, someone that's down to earth, you know, someone that's educated and someone that's, you know, like life. I like to have fun. I'm a Sikh chiller. I like to travel. I like to have fun. So I want a reflection of my qualities in a young lady. Someone that's enthusiastic about life. Fun. You know? A okay. goal-oriented person. Yes. There's emphasis on a fun, Nathan. How old are you? I'm 24 years old. I will be 25 in March. Okay. So how old does your lady have to be? 24, 21? How old? Oh, the young lady that I'm looking for, or the, the age range that I'm interested in is from... 23 to 26. What does she have to look like? All right, so I'm more interested in the petite side. Um, and I like natural hair. I like a natural female. Natural, like, if her hair is perm, that's fine. But I like a natural um, female. I'm 5'11". So that most females are looking for handsome guy. <laughs> Tall, dark. Unmute yourself, Nathan. Uh huh. There we go. Yes. Someone was FaceTiming me. Oh. Yes. Okay. So this that is what I was asking. Friend. You, you said you want a natural female, natural hair. I'm assuming also natural face, no makeup. Yes, natural. I'm Jamaican. <clears throat> Jamaica, I come from a yard man. So we're like natural. You see me? Yeah. We like natural, we like natural female. I don't really care about the nails, I, the eyelash, the the lace wig. I don't really care for that. If she, that's if she likes to, you know, females are naturally beautiful, but all of that is to enhance the beauty. But I'll take you as you are. I don't really care about that. If she's like, babe, I want to do my hair. I'm like, okay, sure. You know, here's two hundred dollars. Go do your hair or whatever it's cost fine you know i like my female well put together okay. okay so and you were saying you're 5 11 because i also asked what you look like and you were about to say i know a lot of women are looking for tall dark and handsome yeah that's what the, this generation is going for you know are the six sixes six figures six inches and what's the next thing six feet tall <laughs> Six inches. I thought it was six pack. I didn't know it was six inches, but we're, we're learning something new today. You know, the female, the male reproductives. Yes. Oh. You know, I, to be honest, I have, um, like since the pandemic, a lot of people be doing speed dating. So I, I don't join them. I normally just watch them and listen, but I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's like this generation is just. You know, but to each his own like there is what eight billion human beings on the earth so we all have the right to pick choose and refuse who we want to involve ourselves with correct yes nathan yes. Of course. give me three deal breaks non-negotiables no all right smoking negative no i don't drink i don't really consume alcohol excessively occasionally if my friends say, hey, it's Friday night, let's go to a nice bar in Soho, like, fine, I'll drink, I'll drink, uh, what's the Corona? It's fine for me. Yeah, they're going to say I'm boring. I'm not. It's just because I don't do the party life, the craziness. A simple guy, you know, he's simple, simple. Are, you, are you in New York City? Because you did mention Soho. Correct. So I'm located in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, you're in Brooklyn. Okay. Yes. All right. And what's the third deal breaker? 
I said smoking and drinking. So the ter third de deal the breaker, someone that's confident. Confidence is key. Confidence is key. You know, when I was living in Jamaica, I was an English major and I, I used to do debates and you have to be confident to fight against your opponent. You know, so confidence is key for me. I'm a confident person. Like I'll dress anyhow and go on the road as long as I don't smell bad. I don't care what people say, who wears that, who wears Nikes anymore, or I'm an old fashioned guy. I don't care about styles, trends, name brands. I don't care about those stuff. Like, okay, give us three green flags about myself. Well, for the person that you would potentially date, Nathan, three green flags in a woman. Oh, three green flags. Someone that's educated. Okay educated like i'm not saying like a bachelor's degree level but someone that knows how to take a screenshot someone that's the common sense common sense is i can't take the slowness i can't take the slowness i can't do it um someone that's goal oriented you know a go-getter because i'm an entrepreneur i'm a photographer um i also do construction we oh, jamaicans we Jamaican. do a lot of stuff and i also do security like we jamaicans we, we do a lot of stuff we're a go-getter i'm about the money i got this big contract in april i can't wait <laughs> you know like there's so many things going on like you know i'm just i'm 24 you know i'm young but yeah. Okay. Someone that keep it real, that keep it 100%. Okay, someone who keeps it real. All right, let me ask you this. When you enter in a relationship with this young lady, are you willing to go 50 50 or are you a full provider kind of man? I appreciate that question. So I've been having this debate with my colleagues from various age groups. And the recent person that I had a conversation with, they said that you know everything should be a hundred percent because what if god forbids your wife gets sick you would have to provide but men men are natural providers correct yes so i mean i'm a hundred percent baby i'm a, not to call you baby but i'm a hundred percent you know i'm a hundred percent Right, 100% provider. Okay, give me one reason, Nathan, why you think you're single. You seem educated. You seem very sure of yourself. You seem like you know what you want. You seem like you're pretty intentional. You seem like you work hard for your age. So why at the age of 24 in New York City, where women outnumber men, do you find that you're single? Give us a one, one or two reasons. All right, so uh, let's see. New York, 8 million people, right? All right. So I came to America in 2021, right? I was single for eight months and I dated a, a Haitian young lady and it didn't work out. You know, the culture difference. And then I dated a Jamaican young lady and that didn't work out, you know? So I'm open-minded. I am not locked to one ethnicity or race. Like I'm, 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 I want to explore. So if a white girl date, like a white girl, an Indian girl, an African girl, a Caribbean girl, a Mexican, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to and say. And that's open. why I'm asking you. Yeah, I'm open. open so you're, me, you're asking white. why am I single? I haven't yeah, found the person yet. Like I haven't, I don't know. I haven't, I'm not picky. I'm not uptight. I'm not stuck up. But I just, I, 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 you are picky. I think you're picky. You think I'm picky? Yes, mm -hmm. I think you are. In a little, the smidge, like a. Uh huh. All right, all right. Okay. Maybe, but I think there are beautiful women in New York City between Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. You can X out the whole Bronx, and you will still have options. As I said, it goes back to the what, the six sixes, tall, dark, and handsome. You gotta have money. You gotta be driving a Benz. I don't know, man. That's what they go for. Um, I take the train. I pay two ninety. I take the train. I take the bus. I mean, so it's oh, it's because you think you don't you you don't have the lifestyle that women don't want to be with you. You think it's the lifestyle. Yeah. All right, Nathan, would you relocate for love? If it's genuine, if it's something worth, it's worthwhile, like, yes, if it's something, the answer to that is yes.
And where can this young woman find you on social media? What's your handle? Instagram, um, TikTok. The default name I use for my social media platforms is Nate b underscore 99 or nate underscore b 99 it's the one that um that's here right now nate b 99 all right nathan well i think you have a big personality the type of personality that will be great for social media so if you aren't doing that type of content making people laugh you should you should do it <laughs> let me tell you everyone be saying i should be a comedian yeah. I, I don't know People say I'm naturally hilarious. I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Personality, Nathan. A lot of personality. You have a lot of personality. Me, they, you're mad funny. You're a cool guy. And I'm like, okay, then, you know. Are we allowed to come back with an update? Yes, please do. Please come back and update us on how it goes. More I'm sure they're in your DMs as we speak. Miss Ashley, thank you very much for accommodating me this evening. Okay. I hope you have a blessed rest of night. You too, darling. Bye bye. Nathan is a. Hold on, you guys. Nathan is a personality. Hello, beauty. How are you? Hey, how are y'all doing? Okay. Good. Um. Well, I have a question. I'm I'm new to dating because I wanted to wait until my daughter moved out. Now she's moved out and I just started dating. So I'm talking to this one guy and I, I just heard you say that we have to kind of bring ourselves down and not, you know. Bring us down. What do you mean? Not, not, not down, but not put ourselves so much on a pedestal as though, you know, we're we're making ourselves more. Th no, did I hear that wrong? Before we jump into that, the conversation I just had was um, when Sean got off the live, I was saying just make sure that whatever we're asking for, we kind of align yes. with our wants and our needs. Okay, you That's did all say I was that. Saying. Make sure you okay. align with what you want and what you your wants and needs. That goes okay. for men and women. That's all I was saying. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does. Yes, I it work does. out every day. I think I can ask for someone who works out every day. No. Okay, okay. This this guy I've started dating. We've been dating maybe six months, and he's a good guy. You know, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, um, or any of those things, but. And I know this is going to sound real minor, but he can't put together a sentence. You know, it's, it's just not coming together. Even the text messages are just jumbled up like it's a like I'm texting a 10 year old and I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to be patient. So I asked him, you know, he's 47. So I asked him, I said, well, have you had a stroke or anything or maybe some maybe something is just not right? And he, he really got upset with me. It's other things as well. He's been married and divorced twice. Not saying, you know, I'm not trying to put anyone down, but he's been married and divorced twice. I have never been married before. I have one child. He has three children. He's trying to decide on if this is really worth my time because I don't want to be someone's third wife. I don't want to be someone's third baby mom. I, I haven't saved myself all these years just to become someone's next situationship. I don't, I don't want to do that. And I'm just trying to really decide on if this is worth my time because I'm starting to feel like it's not. And I just want to get your viewpoint. What does your intuition tell you? To run for the hills. To run for the hills. Because... And I will trust that. Okay, okay. I really because appreciate we that. Don't, we don't know the situation like you know it because you're really in it you talk to him him like most days you're around him what is the feeling that you get when you're around him or when you're texting what is what is that feeling i feel like i'm with a dunce a person <laughs> that has that hat on mm -hmm. and i'm basically just kind of tolerating him just so I can have someone to hang out with and, and do things with. I know that's mean to say, I feel like it is, but just so I'll have someone to hang out with. And I had the conversation with him uh, because we were at the gym and I was talking to him and he just would not talk to me back. I'm trying to open the conversation just to just see where we are with each other. And I would say something, he, he just wouldn't even acknowledge me. So I, I said, hey, I'm ready to go. And then all of a sudden he was like, you're ready to go? I said, yeah, I'm ready to go. So when I left, I texted him. I said, 
I don't know if we're going to be good for each other in a relationship. I think we will be better as friends. And he expressed that he did want to be in a relationship. But Ashley, we, we haven't even been around each other for two full days straight. I want to see what this person acts like when they wake up in the morning or how they are for a week. We, we don't do that. And, and I'm just going to be honest, we're no longer sexual anymore because there's some problems in that area. And I don't know how to open that conversation again because I've opened it and he just shuts me down about it. So I hate to ruin the friendship, but I just wanted to only be friends. And that's it because it doesn't make me feel like I'm moving towards something. I'm 43 years old. I would love to be married one day. I would love that. And it almost feels like what I'm feeling from you is like you have the ick from him. It's like, I don't even want you touching me you know like we don't even do that we don't kiss we don't hug we we, we side hug <laughs> we side hug but that's about it i okay. would say that trust your intuition if you feel like it's time to move on if you feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and i don't think you're asking for too much you want to be able to have a conversation with someone you want to be able to you know have good energy good vibes with, between I, yeah i, I think that's I mean. basic that's basically think it is. cool. Yeah, yeah. That's not asking for too much. It's you're settling bad. Someone said you are settling bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how I'm feeling as well. That's how I'm feeling. And you're okay. a beautiful woman. You are a beautiful woman. You don't. You don't need to settle. Thank you. Like well, y'all have a good night. Thank you for listening. You're welcome. Keep me updated. Come back, okay? I will. Don't settle. Do not settle. Please don't settle.